but when you see yourself slipping into your fearful thoughts it is your duty your responsibility to call yourself back out of it welcome back to my channel my name is toby achilleme if this is your first time here you are super welcome i am so excited to have you here with me so here we talk about topics tips and tricks that would help us grow fearlessly into the best version of ourselves so if you're interested in this process and this journey then you should definitely stick around click the subscribe button so you get notified when we have new videos up and if this is your second third fourth or as many other videos i have time of coming back to this channel then you are welcome also thank you for coming back thank you for sticking with me please if you have not subscribed click the subscribe button so you join the family and get notified when we have new videos up so i am super excited about today's topic why exactly i don't know but probably because it's a journey that i have continuously been on and i am still on and so i'm just excited to share with you my points on this and i hope that it helps you also so today if you can tell already from the topic we will be talking about dealing with fear how to deal with fear and i know you're thinking hmm i should not talked about this before but no i talked about countering fearful thoughts with positive thoughts so today i'll be talking about dealing with fear and i hope you enjoyed this video so let's get right into it so there are several definitions for what fear is but for the purpose of this video i'm sticking to false evidence appearing real so that's the definition that we are sticking to and i have no idea why i am clapping so i apologize if it gets to you okay so fear is false evidence appearing real but the problem is that it sometimes appears so real that we think it is our reality and we become frightful and afraid of the things that we need to do should be doing or should not be doing and i know this because like i said at the beginning of this video it's a journey that i have been on and i am still on this journey of completely overcoming fear and i know that saying completely overcoming fear is uh, absurd because it's something that comes with new terrain with new progress with new things that you would want to do there would always be that iota of fear that comes in when you're trying to do something new or even when you're just living basically sometimes you will just fear that things are not going the way that they should be going you're not where you think you should be you're not doing the things that you should be doing you're not making as much money as you want to be you're not making as much impact as you want to be so there are different things that would make you feel fearful or frightful and i said this because i've been in almost every phase of all these things that i have said but that aside so i'm going to tell you some of the things that i have been doing consciously intentionally and continuously because it is a daily process it's something that you have to do daily consciously every single time whenever you feel the feel of fear you have to immediately counter it and deal with it because if you let it stay in it brings bad results for lack of a better word it's just plain bad and it's not something that we should encourage anybody to dwell in so you should not dwell in your fearful state but you should always and intentionally strive to come out of it so the first thing i'm going to share with you is that you deal with fear with the word of god so one of my favorite all-time favorite bible scripture in the bible obviously is second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 and it says god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind and i like to go a little extra thanks to so many versions of the bible that says sound mind is countering fearful thoughts with reasonable thinking and you're able to deal with it with the word of god because in the word of god we have so many promises that counters anything so where you think you are not making as much money as you want to be where you feel like you're living in a life that is not yours there are so many bible scriptures that will help you to stop that thinking and just counter it because god has promised us all good things that has to do with life and godliness he has also promised us prosperity good health he has promised us so many things for us to now doubt him if he was able to think of you and think intricately about how he wants you to be how he wants you to look why would you also doubt the fact that he can provide for us and make everything beautiful in his own time so the first thing that you need to think of or the first thing that i would advise you to do when it comes to dealing with fear is to study the word of god and find your own reasons find your own verses 
that would help you to counter the things that you're going through that is causing you to be fearful or is causing you to be afraid of the unknown or even the known things whatever it is that is making you to be fearful there is always answer in the word of god because the word of god gives light to everything so whatever it is that is making you afraid whatever is the false evidence that is appearing real in your life if you sit down and study the word look for the verses that you can use to counter those things look for the verses where god has promised you the very good things that has to do with whatever it is that you're feeling fearful about then just counter it if it is a job god has promised that it's going to bless the work of our hands so that means you have to have something that you are doing for him to bless so take it to him and tell him that he has promised you this he has to do it so if it is uh so if it is sickness if it is health he has also promised us divine health by the stripes of jesus we have been made healed so take that to him as well and say see guy you already promised me good health i cannot be falling sick anytime and he will definitely answer because the only thing that doesn't change is his word and it doesn't go back on it so the very first thing and the most important thing that has to do with dealing with fear is to counter it with the word of God because fear is afraid of God's word. Okay, the second thing that I'm going to say, the second thing I'm going to share with you is to acknowledge whatever it is that is making you fearful. So what's the thing that is making you afraid? What's the thing that you are most afraid of? Acknowledge it, put a name to it because when you're dealing with it, you have to be dealing with something that is specific. You have to be dealing with something that is that has a name something that is a noun so you have to be dealing with something that has a name something that is specific so if it is hunger if it is no money if it is um no education if it is health whatever it is just give it a name acknowledge that this is the thing that i am dealing with right now this is what is making me afraid because even if you're because when it also comes to the place of prayer, you have to be able to state exactly what it is. You have to be specific in your prayer. So when you're feeling afraid, be specific, be able to name it, acknowledge that this is what is making me afraid. This is the thing that I am afraid of. Put a name to it. Let it be specific. Be specific enough about it. Just as I would always say, be specific about your goals. Be specific about what it is that is making you to be fearful. And acknowledge it. The next thing after you have acknowledged it, like 2 Timothy 1.7 says, is to deal with it with the sound mind that God has given you. So you have sound mind. You're able to think reasonably. Deal with this thing with sound mind. Sometimes your reasonable thinking is based on the word of God. And that is very good. That is awesome. So deal with it with the promises of God in the Bible. And that way you're dealing with your thoughts purposely, actively, and intentionally. So everything that has to do with dealing with fear has to be intentional because it is deep down in our thoughts. And if you are not intentional about what it is that you're thinking on, what you're meditating on, very easily you can slip into depression. And that's not what we're going for. We're not going for depression. We're going for sound mind, good health, and prosperity, if I do say so myself. So next thing I'm going to say is that you need to block the noise. Whatever it is that is lighting or igniting the thought or fear that you are having, you need to block it from wherever it is that it's coming from. Sometimes it's coming from the news. For example, in this season of the world that we are in right now, the news is not the favorite channel for us to watch because it will just encourage and ignite fear in us when it has to do with our health and our living in the world. So whatever it is that is fueling your fear, that is increasing or igniting the thought of fear that you are having, look for it and block it. This could come from comments from friends, it could come from social media, it could come from news, from TV, from what you're reading, from what you're hearing, wherever it is that it's coming from, it is your duty and your responsibility to find it and block that noise. So that could mean you're cutting away some friends, it could mean you're ending some relationships, it could mean you're not reading or paying attention to the news, you're not listening to CNN or Al Jazeera or whatever news station that it is that you're listening to, you're staying away from whatever it is that is igniting and foiling this fear that you have. Sometimes it could be your family, so you could just tell them that you need space from whatever it is that they are telling you to do or whatever it is that they are saying that is making you feel fearful or frightful about where you're going or what you're dealing with. So find where the noise is coming from, block it, stay away from it, remove your mind, remove yourself from the noise and just dwell in a place of peace and quiet, peace and sound mind. That's all you want, that's where you're going to. 
So whatever it is that is igniting this fear, you need to stay away from it and block it. Bad energy, far away. That's it. And the final thing I'm going to share with you, which everything that I have just said kind of ties down to, is to affirm yourself. I am one person that uses affirmation and I talk about affirmation. I'm probably one of the biggest advocates for affirmation ever because it actually works. So when I'm feeling fearful or frightful about certain things, I sit down and I write affirmations that affirms the opposite of whatever it is. So if I'm feeling, if I'm getting to the place of fear when it comes to the things that I need to do for myself or the steps that I need to take, I just affirm myself and say, I have the power to do this. I have the strength to do this. God has given me the strength to do this. He has given me this vision and I'm going to do it. So affirm yourself. Sometimes again, this has to do with you sitting down and studying the word of God so you can find the points that you need to use to affirm yourself because my affirmations only come from the Bible. I do not just affirm myself anyhow. I have to affirm myself according to what God says about me. And so that is another way that you need to use to deal with fear. Sit down, write down the affirmations that counters all these things that you are feeling fearful about because again, they are just false evidences appearing real. So affirm yourself in what you know is supposed to be for you. If you're feeling fear about being jobless, you're feeling fear about lack of uh, job opportunities in the world, just affirm yourself that you are not among the population or the statistic of people that would not have a job because God is not saying that you're going to be jobless. He did not create you to come and be jobless on earth. So affirm yourself, sit down, write down the affirmations that you think you need to use to counter these things that you're going through and repeat them to yourself every time. It's a conscious effort. Like I said, you have to be intentional about it because fear is in our thoughts and sometimes we do not control our thoughts. But when you see yourself slipping into your fearful thoughts, it is your duty, your responsibility to call yourself back out of it and deal with it intentionally and instantly before it gets to a point of depression because depression very easily you could slip into and that's not what we want. So affirm yourself and I have a bunch of affirmations that I use every month. I share them every time on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, then you should. I'll leave my handle down here so you can just click it and follow me on Instagram. So those are the ways that I have been able to use and I still constantly use them when I'm dealing with fear when they just creep up on me or just come up from wherever it is that they come up from. I just do all of these things that I have shared. I study the word of God. I find my affirmations in God's word. I deal with this with affirmations, with positive thinking. I acknowledge the fear and I counter it immediately. I do not let it sit down and let me meditate on it. If it's affecting me, I am saying and I am countering it immediately because I don't have time to be dwelling on fear. Nobody has that time. It will cripple you and that's not what we want. Again, I feel like I've said that's not what we want a lot of times for you to know that fear is actually not what we want. We want to live in faith. We want to live in abundance and not be crippled by our fearful thoughts. So if you would like to see the video where I talk about dealing with fear with positive thoughts or countering your fearful thoughts with positive thoughts, I'll leave the link of that video in the description box. I'll also leave it linked up somewhere here. I still don't know what direction to point, but it is somewhere in this video. So please check that out. It will definitely help you in dealing with fear also. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed sharing with you this part of my journey and my process of growth and personal development. I really, really, really wanted to share this video with you. So please, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. How are you dealing with fear? What point or pointers can you share with me to also help in the journey of dealing with fear and countering fearful thoughts with positive thoughts? I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and I'll catch you in the next one. Till next time, bye.